Welcome along to the evening session, stage two, Reds Bar Minehead for the Players' Championship Finals. We've seen eight players progress this afternoon through their opening games. Eight more will join them to reach the last 32 this evening. And we start with a double Dutch clash between the Dutch destroyer Vincent van der Voort and the Cobra Yellow Klaassen. I'm Dan Dawson, alongside me is former Players' Champion Paul Nicholson. We'll be talking you through all eight games in this evening session. We've got title winners this year, like Dirk van Dijvenbode, uh, Chris Doby, and Callan Rids, among others, uh, a former Players' Champion in Darrell Gurney as well. But this game, there's a lot riding on it, because that man there, Jelle Klaassen, a former World Champion from his days in the BDO or WDF system, is fighting for his life to keep hold of his professional status in PDC darts. Win here, win his next game, and he puts himself provisionally into the top 64 in the world, which would mean he is not booted off the tour and has to go to Q school. There is a last chance saloon, of course, with the World Championship qualifier. However, it would be much easier and less stressful for Yella if he can get things done this weekend. He's only here by virtue of the fact that Jamie Hughes got COVID and had to pull out, or at least tested positive for COVID. And so he makes up the numbers. He was the next man on the list. Can Yella Klaassen take advantage of that good fortune and keep his professional career going for another year at least? Paul Nicholson is sat alongside me as Hugh Ware is about to get his underway. Game on. Yes, let's get cracking with eight brilliant matches tonight. If this session is as good as we saw this afternoon. 59. We're in for a real treat, and some of these games could be really close. But we started with Vincent van der Voort complimenting our referee's shoes. I was wondering 81. what was going on there. He's just a nice bloke, Vincent van der Voort. And when he sees something just a little bit different, he'll tell you whether he likes it or not. But this is a really interesting game. They know each other so well. They came to the PDC at the same time after Yella Klaassen won the world title. 58. But if there are any doubters out there looking at Yella Klaassen thinking, well, surely he's not going to be in the right sort of shape or 100. practiced up for this game. He was already coming to the UK for the playoff in Barnsley on Monday. So he'll have been ready for this. And he will have known that he was 95. getting the call if somebody did uh, well, was unable to actually come to this tournament. Well, it did look like Yella might have made a real mess of things 100. in terms of qualifying for this. I'll just fill you in on that at the end of this leg because Yella should get to a finish. 100. It's Vincent not as good as he would have hoped. One treble required for Vincent. One double. 77. Yella, you require when he misses, he always says, oi. Yeah, one of the finest exponents of Dutch grunting, Vincent van der Voort. 58. Vincent, you require Is that anything 40. like throat singing? Possibly. Straight down its throat here. Game in for a 1 0 lead. Vincent van der Voort. Van der Voort, number 27 on the list of 65 players who put themselves in the reckoning for getting to this tournament. It's usually 64, 93. of course. But Yellow was 65, and when you are in that position, Dan, especially in this day and age with people dropping out like Dimitri for the Grand Slam, where Chris Wood got the ball, you've got to stay by your phone. Absolutely. And look, Yella, the penultimate Players' Championship event of the year, he had his best run of the year, reached the quarter-final, and all of a sudden things started opening up. He's thinking, oh, I can get to the Players' Championship finals. I might be able to get to the Worlds. The tour card is, is within reach. And going into that final day, he knew, we spoke to him beforehand. He said, look, if I've got to go to Q School, I've got to go to Q said, fresh start. I can live with that. But obviously, I don't want to be forced into that course of action. So he needed to go and win some games on that final day. Got done 6-0 in the very first round. And was left outside the qualifying places for this. It looked like that would be it for Yella Klaassen. Not quite so. Looking at the bullseye 45. here, he's missed the 25. So Vincent, Vincent with a bit of time with which to play to take a 2-0 lead. Another one of those would be fine. No damage done. 41. But he decides to leave something else. 
Well, he does leave tops. I thought he'd be looking at me. 59. Vincent would normally, 40. Normally, I would imagine Vincent would be, but tops it is. Game and there it the is. Second leg, second leg running. He eventually pins tops. Two zip. Third Maybe that's the reason why he went back the there. When Game you have off. success and you're not noted as somebody who constantly leaves 32 or 40, then maybe you find out early where your success comes from. You 100. There's something in that as well, Dan, because if you are, say, a Phil Taylor or an Adrian Lewis or a Vincent van der Bolt, someone who's not noted for having a favourite double, then if you're on something and have trouble with it early, then maybe you've got a plan B. So... 100. Let's watch out to see what he chooses later in the match. Yeah, I mean, we know somebody like the one that strings to mind is, is Christoph Ratajski, where 100 double 16 is his double. He'll leave it where possible. If he's if he starts missing it and he keeps on missing it, he's not going to change. He's going to stubbornly stay there until he gets it right. He's got the game plan. Same with James Wade, 54. although, I mean, you can count the number of times James Wade struggles on double top and double 10 on one hand over his 20 year career. 43. Another loose start from Yella, trying to leave a finish and missing the segment entirely. Might be in trouble here. 100. That was always going to be hit that last dart because the lie was perfect. How small can he leave this number? He wants to leave 44. 140. Really need to get there. Vincent, you require 147. These kinds of chances can't be missed. 100. Even at this early stage. Yeah, you require 44. You must find this, ideally, in two for confidence. That was not a confident dart. 28. It just didn't settle in his hand. Vincent, you require 47. I don't think it was f particularly comfortable. And it's going to be seven tops to embellish our point. He started on tops and he's sticking there. Double 10 now, though. 37. And again, Vinci yeah, van der Voort punctuates his visit with a groan and allows Yella Larsen back Pop to the board and he breaks back to get off. into this game. And I don't know about... I'm just watching Yella and maybe it's because we've got this slightly weird angle. It's obviously a different setup on this stage too than you'd see on the Pro Tour, the Euro Tour, the main stages. We don't have a, a camera facing back at the, the players. We've just got a sort of side-on camera. But looking at him, it just seems a bit, it's a bit lungy. It's a bit, it seems like his body's going with that know. arm. And maybe it's always been like that, but it doesn't seem as fluid. doesn't seem as easy for Yella Clarsen. 100. In all honesty, Dan, I've got to know Yella very well at the early portions of my career. And I could severe his talent, which is evident there with a 162 to leave 146. Beautifully done by Yale. He doesn't make cal the calculating errors that you see from some other pros, but Yale, you he's always been quite backwards and forwards sometimes. That right shoulder does come through mm. and it carries the body with it. 64. And he is someone who has changed his technique quite a lot over his career. And especially that kit as well, which seems to change at least once every three months. Well, you say that. 100. Yeah, His you were darts, which are always quite similar. As he now looks at 17 tops. 62. But he will get more darts at it. His darts are always quite similar. Same sort of shape, but they've got such a wide variety of grips and knurls and different things. He's gone through more than a dozen sets of darts 81. in two years. Yeah, different ones 20. that his manufacturer has been making for him. Level five. Got a bust it no and does. Score. That was a dangerous shot. They could have left three. A lot of metal around there as well. Yeah. Now oh, he's in trouble because it's double 13. Game and that is a huge play. shot from Van der Voort. That's exactly the same shot that we saw from Adrian Lewis on the stage against Kim Hybrex. Fifth and that was a Vincent game changer at the time. Purpose. And that might be there. Game on. Well, Clarsen was in total control of that leg. Couldn't get 82 done. Couldn't get 20 done to follow it. 41. And Vincent van der Voort has made him pay with that 1-1-9 checkout. 
Jelle Klaassen has been blessed with an absolute gift to be able to play here this weekend. It would be some story if he takes advantage of that and manages to save his tour card by virtue of his performances this weekend. At the moment, it does not look like that is going to happen. He's never been afraid to press the reset button on his career. I may have mentioned this before, but I had a conversation with Yella and Ron Muhlenkamp at an event in Barnsley once, and we were all talking about trying to find another level with our game. And Yella was saying it, it took him so long to get this new technique right. When he got it right, he made a semi-final of the World Championship. Ron Muhlenkamp went through exactly the same after weight loss, and he wanted to change his entire technique. And Yella and Ron's advice to me at the time was, trust what you're doing and stick with it. Now, he's got to press the reset button Yelly and stop and put keep school. It won't intimidate him. It may not intimidate him, but it is a job. He's going to have to earn money. And the longer you go trying 18. to be a dance player but not making enough money Vincent to pay the bills, 118. well, the harder it gets to justify sticking with it. Vincent van der Voort wants double 19. That 18. would have been 4 1. Yelly require 109. That was a bit of an ugly dart, wasn't it? They're oh. not that close, are they? 57. Those two darts. Well, the 20 Vincent wasn't. The 19 58. just needed to dip a little bit more. But it didn't threaten that shot. Well, this is a really difficult shot. It's even more difficult now. Oh, and he 14. went for the corner and just misses out. Yelly require 52. If there is a bright side, it's he's left double 12. Well, he doesn't get a look at it and Klassen Yellow shakes Carson. his head, but do Tick it the other way, Yella, because he's just broken back. Game on. Well, that is a leg that he's won, despite having a scoring visit in that leg, Yella Klassen, of 18. 121. I've been doing some research over the last couple of months about different world championships and I remember looking back to the final set of his 2006 win against Raymond van Barneveld his throwback then was so different Honestly, if you're watching this now and you've got your phone go and google Yella Klaas and Raymond van Barneveld lakeside final watch Yella throwing a dart it is so 59. wildly different from how he throws nowadays and that's not to say that it's better or worse obviously he won a world title with that throw he did very, very well 100. for a number of years in the PDC with his remodelled action. It just isn't going well right now for Yella Klaas. You could even look back at the 2009 100. World Championship when Yelly he lost 100. to Rima van Bonneveld in the quarterfinals. His technique then was, in my opinion, a lot better than now. But it's this coil with 16. the arm coming from the inside out that there are complexities with that kind of throw and if you do mistime it 100. you may have Yelly that wild dart 80. well 20 for tops 40. Vincent, you require it's probably okay for yellow that he missed that in fact it definitely is now it's vincent's 38. turn to spray them Yelly about the just get rid of this with no messing that flight is in the way. Game oh, the what an assist! That flight was in the way, but that on. dart would not be denied. I want to see that again. Oh, Almost oh, literally did. pinging him in off the lampshades. Yellow Clarsen. We've got a level game here at 3 all, despite the fact that Yellow is only averaging 83. 51. It's only a couple of points shy of Vincent van der Voort, who's been very, very... I mean, they've both been very up and down. This is anybody's game. 60. Just to give you an indication of the stats for the season, Vincent van der Voort has averaged 93.21 in all three of championship events. That's 39th in the list. That's pretty respectable. But Clarsen at 91.06, that's down at 79th. And yes, the standard has gone up. You've got to average, in my opinion, 93 plus these days. 91 just isn't going to cut it anymore. 
Vincent van der Voort has played 76 games on the pro circuit this year and the, the players' championship events because he is an absolute ninja at getting to his board 95. final and winning his boards. His last 16, last 16, last 16. Have you seen Vincent van der Voort in a final? No, not for years. Literally years. There's Yella. 129. Well, that'll do. Vincent van der Voort knows how to accumulate. He does. That's all he's done. He's, he's not only just qualified for this as 2070. He's been at things like the match plays at loads of big TV 99. tournaments. Just because he's always yeah, he in the last 16 of stuff. It's incredible consistency. Oh, where was that going? Was that going for the 12? I think it was in the treble 12. Vincent, you require 100. Well, surely there, the right player was the big fat 12, not the treble. Tops. 71. That would have been the biggest dart yeah, of the match so far. We can say what you like about the match, but Klassen is now ahead and has yellow a break Klassen. in the bank. Eight leg yellow, two third fist. Well, game a on. bizarre game of darts this, because Vincent van der Voort at 3-1 up looked like he had yellow Klassen on tight. 115. And it's just kind of... Not fallen apart, but just got very, very scrappy between the pair of them. 60. I love that phrase, having someone on toast, but you've got to take the knife as well, otherwise the person's going to escape off the toast. 119. Looks like Vincent van der Voort's forgotten his knife. Okay. One oh, there it is. Knives out, Van der Voort. Is this one going to get good in the last three or four legs? 97. Klaassen leaves the 170. 60. And he does yeah, not have to take this out in this visit. I suppose it's a good job he doesn't. 40. He will hate that visit with a passion. Because now Van der Voort with a 105 plus will be in position if Yella does not take the 130. And based 55. on what we've seen in the match so far, Yella, you don't you think this is going. Yeah. The transition from the big fish 170 to the little fish 130. For the ball. 105. Vincent, you require 146. Just to put egg on my face. I love it when players do that to the commentators. But now he's got to convert that 25, and if he does, he'll be yeah, within he one leg five. of the next round to play Andy Bolton. Does he get another ricochet? Nine. It's the Don't right side this time. Vincent, I know, we six. talked about this this afternoon. He went for the treble because he already went in there. It made it easier to find the treble, but he's left double three, Vincent. And now he's in the madhouse. Game and he has managed play. to pull it out the bag. Vincent now, whether Vincent van der Voort did that just because he had a better chance of a treble, or Nine whether it was the old Vincent dead cat to shot this. to try and distract Game Yella Klaassen on his next visit, we don't know. But it worked. And Vincent levels at four apiece. That's a break of throw. The Dutch destroyer 80. is two legs away from not just victory, but potentially... Ending Yella Clarsen's career in PDC darts, at least for 81. now. It's going to be a bit of a minefield, that qualifier on Monday. And what's really interesting is that Andy Bolton, who 97. plays the winner of this game, is also going to that qualifier. 117. He was brilliant this afternoon in taking out Joe Cullen. But that visit was brilliant from Klaas, and that's exactly what he needs right now in trying to break once again. Back comes Vincent. 123. We've got a fantastic lineup for you this evening, including former champion Daryl Gurney. 139. I'm not sure that last dart came out of his hand right. It was closer to the double than the treble. He won't mind as long as he takes the 104. 97. They're both on it. Yeah, you require 104. What's the roots? Going the 16s. A lot of sense to that. 
84. Cannot finish it on double top. Vincent wouldn't Vincent surprise me if he goes a different route here. Might be the 18s. Well, still possible. No longer. 40. So this is where Clash has got to be aggressive 20. with the first start. Can't be cagey. He was aggressive. But that is the worst no case score. scenario for that visit. And he's did it again. Nearly hit that two again, hasn't he? Makes no sense at all. He's playing with fire. Double top again. 44. And he has dragged it low. Yeah, and once again, Yellow Larson comes back looking at double 10. That's a really horrible no line. Score. Because his darts kink to the left. Vincent, he could see 20. possibly a third of that double 10. And then where his darts fly, that was always going to be a difficult shot. Wow, double five, game and that's in, in a it's weird a game of darts. I did not expect this tonight, and now Klassen is at the point of no return, needing the last two. I mean, this is a coin flip. There is absolutely no pattern to this game. You cannot say that anybody has played well for more than about a minute at a time. And as soon as it looks like they're getting into some kind of a groove, they chuck in some very, very One average hundred. stuff. It makes no difference who's throwing first. It makes no difference who's just done anything in this game. It is just a random 50-50 coin flip who wins each leg. And Yella Clarsen has got to win two of those back to back to keep his hopes alive in this tournament and potentially keep alive his chances 96. of staying on the professional circuit. These are the performances, Dan, that really make you scratch your head until you fall asleep 43. at night, if you fall asleep. Because these games make your head spin. Nobody's walking away from this game thinking, yeah, I deserve that. They're walking away thinking, I've got lucky. Vincent van der Voort has hit a 180 there when a 140 would have left the bogey number. And he's got six starts at 125. I would Vincent not be shocked to see him hit this. And he finished with a six star conversion of 305. Oh, hang on. Oh, double 12. Oh my word, that would have been ridiculous. 305 points cleared in two visits in a completely ridiculous manner. 140. Vincent He's already missed one match dart, and this is to eliminate Yella Klaassen. And he's through, not with a classic performance, but Yella Klaassen has got some match exposure ahead of that playoff on Monday, which is to save his PDC privileges for next season, potentially anyway. Does he have to go to Q School? Stay tuned to PDC TV and the updates on the PDC website come Monday. But for now, Van der Voort through and he takes on one of his old adversaries, Andy Borton, and that will be tomorrow afternoon. As for us, former champion Daryl Gurney up against Alan Suter next. Could be rather good that one.